The Urban Agenda for the EU brings together cities, member states, EU institutions and experts to work on the future of cities. Europe is urbanizing more and more. Well, our city is a fairly young capital. It's only 24 years. We are the capital of Slovakia. And that means, among others, that we're still looking for best structures, lean governing uh, methods and uh, allocating resources and competencies. Urban Agenda means that we would be focusing more on how we can make these cities more attractive for our citizens. Now, cities are protagonists in many aspects. And they have been neglected, institutionally speaking, for so long. Now it's the time to move on with the cities. Realizing the full potential of European cities calls for a joint approach to share knowledge, to reduce the administrative burden of EU rules, to make EU funding more accessible. The Pact of Amsterdam launches this joint approach. European cities support the urban agenda for the EU. I believe that European cities, as well as Bratislava, in two or three, four years ahead, will be more competitive, will be stronger, will be more effective. That all the citizens of Amsterdam uh, have two uh, happy years, longer life, for instance, by good measures in terms of the climate problem, uh, mobility and all the aspects that influence our health. Cities can offer new and very inventive and imaginary ways of involving citizens, not only in decision making, but only on implementing policies. The key message for the whole EU uh, processes is that we need more synergy between different funding instruments and more really conceptualizing, getting new things moving. If we keep on with the momentum created now about cities, we can start filling the legitimacy gap of the European Union because we, cities can offer new and very inventive and imaginary ways of involving citizens. I'm looking that we will really boost this kind of bottom-up movement. It is all about the citizen. It's not about the institutions, be it Europe or national or even local. It's about the citizens.